low care and high care where there's one staff member for every six residents. Kings Langley Village, another Adventist retirement village providing care with love and dignity. Visit AdventistRetirementVillages.org.au You're listening to 2UE, 131332. I'm not sure what you did to me, but I like it. I love it. Oh, yeah. This is the Sunday Psychic Show, Sharina's Psychic Encounters. All right, we're going to play a little bit of uh, music because there's a stage show coming to Sydney. We're going to play a little bit of music. You will know instantly who we're talking about. Reflections. Once upon a time, you dressed so fine. Do the bumps of dime in your prime. Then you. People call, say, beware, doll. You're bound to fall. You thought they were all. I'm kidding you. Oh, look, brings back so many memories, doesn't it? And online we have Benito DiFonzo. Hello. Hello, Sharina. Look, fa- thanks for coming on the program. Thanks for having me. Wasn't he great? Absolutely. Well, he's still around. Of course. We can speak of him in the present tense. Oh, oh well, of course, of course. So, just uh, where did this idea come for, for your program, for your the show? production? Um, yes. Yes, well... I was, I was a Dylan fan, and, mm-hmm. uh, and being a poet, uh, my background is as a poet and a spoken word performer, and a lot of poets are very big fans of uh, Bob Dylan because of his unique uh, lyric writing style. And then he brought out his autobiography, uh, Chronicles Volume 1, and I read it, in fact, I read it twice in a, in a row because I enjoyed it so much. It was, as I said to someone at the time, it was... It was more Kerouac than Kerouac, the way he wrote. It was very beat, it was very poetic, it was very lyrical. And then uh, something came up with someone wanting me to write a short play, because I, I do write plays, obviously, as well. And um, I wrote a, a ten-minute sort of spoof of his autobiography, uh, because I, I work in a, a comic style. And, um, and it went down very well, and then I was approached by the Tamarama Rock Surfers, the theatre company, to, to write the full-length version, which they workshopped last year and then we recently took to Adelaide Fringe Festival where we got a six glowing reviews so now we're about to put it back on the main stage at the old Fitzroy. Fantastic and do you know when he actually changed his name from Robert Zimmerman that was a stroke of genius in numerology because it added up to number three when he changed his name to Bob Dylan and that is just the number of the theatrical the the number of a star the number of the great singer. Fantastic. Yes well he, he says in his autobiography he um he just liked the letter D. Mm. <laughs> he, just, he just had some vibe about the letter yeah, ex- D. Well, that's what it's all he about, had isn't a it? Uh, fake name for a little while, and then he he went with that. And he actually has a whole he actually has a whole series of names that he uses. I mean, we the character mentions of the uh, if I can just go through them, he uses the names um, Elston Gunn, Huck ah. Finn, Blind Boy Grunt, Lucky Boo Wilbury, Elmer Johnson, Sergey Petrov, Jack Fate, Jack Frost. And his uh, um, Israeli name is Shakti Zisel Ben Avraham. And so he's stuck with Bob Dylan in the long run. Yes, yes. We all know him as this, Bob Dylan. So what about the cast? I, I, I believe there's a really huge cast playing the, the stars. Tell us about them. Well, we've got, we've got three actors, but playing, they're playing lots of different characters. Now, the, yep. Bob is played by Matt Ralph, who's a great uh, singer-songwriter um, based in... Bondi, originally from Perth, yep. and uh, he's really uh, got the whole Bob thing happening there. And then we've got um, two other actors, uh, Lenore and uh, um, um, Andrew Henry and Lenore Munro, and they're basically playing everyone from Yoko Ono to John Lennon. Um, in fact, uh, at one point, Andrew Henry plays a Yiddish uh, Lenny Bruce-style speaking version of Abraham Lincoln which uh, did confuse one American in the uh, Adelaide show a little bit. But, uh, but the, the idea is to, uh, it's, it's a sort of heightened reality because a lot of the thing about Bob in his interviews, especially in the early years, is he had this heightened style of surreal, uh, absurdist uh, wordplay. And uh, one of the things we call the play is a Glissendorf because Bob Dylan as a child in Hibbing, Minnesota, used to, used to have this game he played with his schoolmates which was called Glissendorfing where you used word games and wordplay to confuse whoever was listening so, uh, to, and to comic effect as well. 
So, um, so we've got very strange characters, some of them real, some of them not. We actually have Jesus uh, appearing at one point, but uh, Jesus is actually played by the, the female actress, Lenore, and, um, and a whole lot of other people in between. Sounds fantastic. I was just looking at the reviews. I mean, what about one, one of these compliments you've got? This is a bloody brilliant show. Every bit is entertaining. <laughs> yes. They're fantastic, aren't they? I, and we didn't even have to pay those people. It's a money. You sure? <laughs> it's, look, it's a very funny show. I mean, if I do say so myself, I, I, I've never had anyone... Because I notice uh, your name's up there high. <laughs> one of the interesting things about the show is that uh, I did wonder when I first wrote it that, you know, maybe only Dylan Heads would get it. Bobcats, as they're officially known. Yeah. Um, but what I found is, in fact, I've invited uh, some people along because there are a lot of people, in fact, quite a lot of musicians who actually really hate Bob Dylan and they actually love the show as well. What's Fantastic. The people that love Dylan, they pick up all this Dylan stuff in it and uh, it's all this, you know, the train spotting of the Dylanology, um, which is actually an official uh, school of uh, thought, Dylanology. And, um, but then you get the people who don't even know or like Bob Dylan and they just see it as this absurdist comedy. And that some of them even think I'm, I'm making fun of Bob, which at times I sort of am, but in a, a reverential way that Bob, I'm sure, would be cool with. So interesting. Sounds yeah. so interesting and so different. Now, whereabouts can we see that again? Tell the listeners. Yes. And is there a phone number they can ring up and book? Yes, yes. Or, and how long it's going to be on for? Okay, it opens on, um, well, the preview's on the 6th of April, then the yep. official opening's on the 7th. Yep. And then it runs through to the 24th of April. It uh, doesn't run through right to my birthday but a week before my birthday <laughs> stops and um and it's going to be at the old fitzroy theater yep. which is in woolamaloo in dowling street woolamaloo and they can go to rocksurfers.org because yep. the theater company is tamarama rock service or they can ring 1300 438 849 what's the number again that's 1300 438 Eight four nine, and um, one of the things, one of the good things about that venue is because it's a it's a pub and it's got a luxe restaurant as well above the theatre. And uh, oh, Spencer's shaking his head; he wants to go. Yeah, well, you, can get, <laughs> you can get the beer and a luxe beer luxe and a show deal, whereby for a few dollars more than the normal ticket, for only thirty five dollars, you actually get a, a luxe, you get a beer at the bar, and you get to see the show. So that that's that's the sounds a terrific.